here on Mount Victoria in Auckland and I'm on an adventure. An adventure full of drama, suspense, danger and the usual bad jokes. I'm enjoying my trip so far. Okay, well I'll head off on my adventure. You wait here and I'll tell you all about it when I get back. No, 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 no. I'm going on the adventure. You're staying here. No! It's my adventure. You wait here. Oh, okay. You can come with me. Do you want to know where we're going? We are going into a volcano. But how did a volcano get here at Mount Vic? How is a volcano made? Hmm? Buy some clay. The middle of the earth is all hot. Stuff kept building up, building up. And the plates under the earth sliding against each other. Well, I think like it gets really, really hot underground, and then it just get, makes a volcano. You know, at this stage, I'm with you. I really don't have a clue. Maybe I do have a clue. This could be one. A volcano marks the point where molten rock, that rock from deep within the earth, has reached the surface. Okay, onwards and upwards. We're going to go right to the top of this volcano and have a look. Whoa, did you feel that? You know, around Auckland there are over 47 other volcanoes. A lot of volcanoes, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, come on. You wanted to go on this adventure, didn't you? Well, come on, then. You don't think I'm going into that volcano by myself. You're coming with me. Come on. We're nearly at the top. It must be getting dangerous. Oh, but I love danger. I love being brave. <laughs> Has it stopped? Oh, well in that case, how about something to eat? What have we got here? Oh, I know. Yeah, scotch eggs. Yum. Now you might think that this is an ordinary scotch egg, but I'm here to tell you something different. Think of it as the earth. Now the sausage meat on the outside is the Earth's crust and it has hills and valleys and mountains and the seabed and it's constantly changing. Ice, snow, rain, drought, floods, they're constantly changing the Earth's crust. And below the Earth's crust, about 40 kilometres below, is the Earth's mantle. And today that's being represented by the egg white. Now the Earth's mantle gets really, really hot. About 2,000 degrees centigrade. That is really hot. And it gets so hot because of all the rocks pressing down on it. If we were to get that hot, we'd look a bit like this. But I tell you something that gets even hotter. And that's the Earth's core. Right in the centre here it gets about 4,000 degrees centigrade. That is really hot, so hot that the rocks are molten. They're like runny egg yolk. Want a bite? Now think of the Earth's crust as being a chocolate bar. See any volcanoes? Yeah, me neither. Just some mountains and some valleys. But when a volcano erupts, stuff comes from inside the earth and breaks out. Stuff that's hot, hot rock. So hot, it's runny. And when it's runny like that, it's called magma. Let me show you. Wow. Look at that. That's just like a volcano. Except when magma bursts out from the Earth's surface, it does so because it's under huge pressure. I had to squeeze this chocolate bar backwards and forwards to get the caramel out because there's no pressure in the chocolate bar. But you know, I'm feeling pressure. I'm feeling immense pressure. To, to share this, and I will, 
Hey, what's that? Another scientific experiment bites the dust, so to speak. Oh no, don't hurry. I can't. Oh, my tummy. I've eaten far too much. Why did you make me eat that chocolate bar? Okay, I won't moan. Whoa, we must be getting pretty close to that volcano. Hey, I know we've discussed how a volcano erupts and the magma comes flying up out of the Earth's surface because it's under so much pressure, but I haven't shown you that yet. And I was going to use a cake. Oh, but I've gone off that idea. Hmm. So how about we use a chemical reaction? Yeah, a chemical reaction to show how that magma is under so much pressure. What I'll do is I'll just ring the scientific delivery service. Oh, hi. Scientist Susie here. Yes, could you please deliver my volcanic pressure kit, my lab coat, and two chocolate bars? Oh, hang on. Cancel the chocolate bars. How long will that be? About time. Hey, here's an experiment that you can try at home. Okay, here's an experiment that you can try at home, but you need to be outside and you need to stand two meters away from it, okay? Okay. What I've got here is a container of water some antacid tablets and what you do is you put the antacid tablets into the container put the lid on nice and tight and give it a good shake and then you get away from it Woohoo! one chemical reaction that's what pressure does and it's that kind of pressure that makes a volcano blow its top well, we're nearly at the top. We should be able to hear something like rumbling or, or maybe fire. Shh, 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 listen. Can't hear anything. What can we see? Mm. No smoke, no fire, no magma. Not even a little bit of lava dribbling down the side. Aw, oh, what happened to our volcanic adventure? I'm in what would have been the crater of the volcano when it was alive. This is where the hot stuff, the magma, came bursting up and the lava went flowing down the side. So that's the story of volcanoes and that's the end of our adventure into the very depths of one, even if it was extinct. But you can carry on investigating. Why don't you find out which volcano erupted last? Or find out which volcano is closest to you? Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. Hey, what's the first sign of a volcano erupting again? Oh yeah, rumbling. Let's get out of here. This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.